Pilots and controllers will share a common view of air traffic and other conditions with an automated system under development in Atlantic County. Engineers at the FAA's Hughes Technical Center have developed a prototype of the system scheduled to roll out nationwide beginning in 2010. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The FAA has targeted a number of technological upgrades towards safely managing a rapid climb in air traffic over the coming decades. One major shift affects what the aviation industry calls surveillance, determining the positions of aircraft in three-dimensional space. Plans call for less reliance on ground-based radar and more on the satellite-based Global Positioning System, or GPS, technology that's becoming both more accurate and less expensive. Aircraft equipped with the system, called ADS-B, will automatically broadcast latitude, longitude, altitude, heading, velocity, and other data once per second. Pilots will have a real-time picture of what's around them, as well as information including weather, lightning strikes, closed runways, and special use airspace. Pilots are really interested in this display. I mean, they really want to see, you know, what, what is this thing going to do for me? You know, what kind of information is it going to give me? How timely is the information? How accurate is the information? Can I rely on it? And does it match what I see out the window of my cockpit? Surveillance team manager Michael McNeil says that the new technology will cost much less than present-day collision avoidance systems and provide more useful information. We currently have the range set at five nautical miles, so this is everything within five nautical miles of us. Uh, we can zoom in or out. This range setting, we're out about 20 nautical miles. Uh -huh. As you can see, there's a lot more traffic you know, that we yeah. can see out that far out. According to McNeil, the new system will, for the first time, give pilots and air traffic controllers a common view of all the information they need to understand problems that may arise. And they can talk about, you know, resolving the problem whether, rather than wasting time explaining what the problem is. This capability is expected to roll out nationwide between 2010 and 2020 for all aircraft flying in controlled airspace. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Egg Harbor Township.